In this video, you will see a CCA created English lesson for a high school student. This lesson is from Unit 1, Topic 3, Writing a Narrative. All CCA lessons begin with a lesson overview. Here you will see some can-do statements, such as learners can identify adverbial clauses and subordinate conjunctions, and begin to develop their own narrative based on the writing prompt. Vocabulary is also listed here that will be found in the lesson, such as adverbial clause and subordinating conjunction. English 9 kit materials needed for this lesson include the My Perspectives workbook. The kit materials are mailed to each student at the start of the school year. Additional household materials needed include a highlighter and a notebook. And the approximate length for this lesson is 70 minutes. Like all CCA lessons, it is recommended to take breaks as needed. On the next page of the lesson, learners are engaged by reviewing the five steps of the writing process. The video below will review this process, which will help them answer a question on the next page. Let's play a portion of this video. The writing process is the series of steps an author uses to write a text. It's a map of how to get a story or other information from your head into someone else's. There are five steps, pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. The writing process is recursive, meaning you can repeat any step at any time. If you get stuck, called writer's block, or don't like what you wrote, try going back a step or even to the beginning to find a solution. Here, learners have a sortable list where they will list the five steps of the writing process in order from step one to five. On this language development page of the lesson, learners will read about adverbial clauses, which is a type of clause that begins with a subordinating conjunction and functions as an adverb in a sentence. An example below is provided. Next, learners move on to reading more about subordinating conjunctions, which is a word or phrase that joins two clauses together. At the bottom of this page is an example using the word because, and a table is provided of some of the common subordinating conjunctions. Continuing on, learners are provided with some key indicators that can help them identify adverbial clauses, as well as more examples below. This table here provides more support to learners of how to use subordinating conjunctions in different situations. Now learners are to show what they know. In the multiple choice question at the bottom, they are to identify the relationship between the subordinating conjunction and the rest of the ideas in the sentence. This is just a practice question, but the teacher will be able to see the response to provide timely feedback and the learner continues identifying subordinating conjunctions with a few more practice multiple choice questions. Learners move from grammar instruction and practice in the language development section of this lesson to a writing focus in the effective expression section. In previous lessons, learners have read stories that dealt with the concept of what would happen in the future after either all or part of the human race has been destroyed. Now learners will use what they have learned to write their own end-of-the-world narrative. And here is the learner's assignment. They are to write a narrative story in which they respond to the question, after a world-ending event, how do we begin again? Learners will use text from their My Perspectives workbook to help them. These anchor texts will help to identify the structure of a narrative to help guide learners as they write their own. Learners are encouraged to take notes as they read and reread the previous text to help them develop their own narrative story from a similar theme. Learners begin with pre-writing by establishing the situation which helps to engage and orient the reader. Below is a framework learners can print out or type in directly that will help them establish the situation for the narrative. Story suggestions are then provided for the learner to help them generate ideas. The arrows for this multi-step can be pressed to cycle through some different ideas. At the bottom of this page, 
learners are to write at least two sentences describing the situation of their narrative. As this is typed directly into the lesson, this is something their teacher can review. Learners are encouraged to establish the point of view for the narrative. This helps to determine what type of narrator, or voice, is telling the story. Then, learners are to write at least one sentence to establish a point of view for their story. A sentence starter has been provided for them. My story will be told from the point of view of blank because blank. One of the final pieces to this lesson is to gather details. By focusing on dialogue, pacing, and description in their writing, learners can craft a more compelling narrative. Finally, learners are to reflect on their narrative's established situation and point of view, and they are to keep all of their materials together as they continue to develop their ideas through the next lesson. We hope you enjoyed the CCA lesson tour. For more information about CCA, please check out ccaeducate.me.